Let's take a live look in Frisco, second day of Off the Rails Music Festival there, getting ready to get started. Actually, it has been going on already, the main act here this evening. 84 degrees in Frisco and a little bit of a breeze. You might have noticed these gusty winds. Another problem is in the air, and that's the grass count. Grass pollen continues to be high. It's been seven days in a row of high counts. I wanted to show you this, just to remind you where all the tropical moisture is around the equator. And every now and then, we get a couple of days of a south wind to start tapping into that moisture and bring it up into Texas. Now, you need this moisture in place to have thunderstorms. That's what's going to happen over the next couple of days first. The moisture starts bringing up from the south. So you'll notice we're not going to have those beautiful blue skies like we've had the last couple of days. A lot of cloud cover starting tomorrow, and especially by Tuesday, you're also going to start feeling that humidity in the air. Tomorrow's forecast is for temperatures just a few degrees cooler. Today's high was 88. We're forecasting a high about 86 as these temperatures march up into the 70s quickly. By the noon hour, will be almost 80 degrees. We'll start off with some clouds. Those will clear out and the clouds will start to return again as we close the day and get into the evening hours. But let's talk about storm chances because they are in the forecast. This is Wednesday at 4. We expect an active dry line to start thunderstorms west of our coverage area. But as the afternoon and get into the early evening, some of these storms could get into our western counties. The risk is pretty small for the Metroplex on Wednesday, but it increases dramatically on Thursday as the low pressure system moves right over. This is going to be our best chance of rain if you're looking for some in the front or backyard. It's going to be on Thursday, but come, could come in the form of some strong thunderstorms. Still too far away to know the exact risk, but probably hail and damaging winds. Then on Friday, the wraparound, we're going to get maybe a little bit of that last rain from it on Friday morning, but we'll have clouds. It'll be windy, and Friday temperatures will finally cool down. It's going to be warm until and then going to be pretty much in the 80s until Friday. But there is that 10% chance, 20% chance of rain on Tuesday. This is just because the moisture is building up in the atmosphere and we could have some sprinkles of rain. Most of it will be across our southeast. But on Wednesday, the storm risk will pretty much be from Monte County across Stephen County down into all the way down in towards our southwest corner. That is on Wednesday. But on Thursday, along the I-35 corridor and everything to the east, this is where we run the risk of some severe weather and strong thunderstorms that will be going on in the afternoon hours into the early evening on Friday. That's that wraparound, that last of the rain that's mostly into our northeast. Seven-day forecast. You can see temperatures in the 80s. Like I said, we're going to be pretty much hovering in the mid-80s for highs. Clouds start to increase. Humidity starts to increase. You can see that in the overnight lows being in the upper 60s by the time we get into Wednesday and Thursday. A breezy day on Friday after the storms, by the way, and it sets up for a great weekend next weekend. Can you believe that, Dan? Two weekends in a row in May and dry.